Hey guys, welcome back to Motorcycle Maintenance Channel. Today on this episode, we're going to show you how to put custom levers onto the motorcycle. I know shorty levers are all the rage, so we're going to fit this R6 motorcycle with some red levers. So the first thing we're going to do is remove this clutch lever on this side of the bike. And underneath this pin right here on the clutch lever, there's a 10 millimeter um, hex nut right here at the bottom of it. Okay, there's the nut. Out of it. Now we'll just back the pin out this way. It's nice and greased. Okay. So now this guy is ready to come out. We're just going to twist this, the clutch cable that sticks out here. We're going to twist it through this loop, like so. And then there's a little weight on the end of it. It's just going to come out. It's just going to come out like that. And the lever is off. Now to get our nice new red shorty lever. There she is. Looking fly. What's nice about this lever is it's adjustable. You can bring it in or kick it out. Now the tricky part is going to be pulling that cable back out and putting it through the lever. There it is. And all I did to, to do that was I pushed in on the clutch manually on the back side of it, of the bike over there. So I got him. I'm going to stick it in this little channel here on the top and then run the wire back through the clutch like it was with the stock lever. Just like that. Okay, you also want to make sure you get this bearing that they have inside the lever out and place it in your new aftermarket lever right there, like that. And then place the whole thing in there without it falling out. There we go, and that'll be a smoother operation. Stick our pin back in, and a 10 millimeter nut on the bottom, and rotate. Don't want to go too tight. I always have a tendency to go too tight. All right. And there she is. little shorty lever. So the adjustability comes here. 
where one brings it closer to the handlebar and six brings it uh, further away. Um, and you can just leave it wherever you want. Halfway is good. Now to, to adjust the play in the lever, and it should have a little play in it, you know, not a lot, but a little play in it, you go right here. And that'll make it tighter, give you less, uh, make it harder to pull and take some of the slack out of it. Or you can come this way and make it looser. Or actually, I think that makes it tighter. Yeah, that made it tighter and pulled a lot of the slack out of it. Or this way, it makes it looser. Um, you want it to have a little bit of play, not too much though. So, right here is where they gave it to us from the Yamaha or from the dealership in San Antonio. So we're just gonna leave it there. And it needs to, needs to be adjusted. I think it's fine though. All right, that's that lever. Now we'll come over to the brake side and do the brake brake side lever. All right, so just like the other brake lever side, it pivots off of this screw right here. So we have to remove that to remove the lever. Oh, there was a little screw at the bottom. So there was a 10 millimeter bolt. I did not have to do anything with it though. Okay, pull out the pin. And there it is, comes right out. This little cup inside the lever here just pushes down the switch, the brake switch. Oh my God. And that tells the, uh, that tells the uh, brakes to engage. There should not be any fluid coming out of it. There is a little fluid coming out of it, which is kind of concerning. Okay. Just in case that is brake fluid. It could just be grease, but if it is brake fluid, we want to uh, wipe that up because brake fluid is extremely corrosive. Fluid. So. There it is, I feel it coming down. We'll get the, our little nut that was behind it. Hold it in place. Just continue to tighten. And now it's starting to spin, so I'll get my little 10 millimeter wrench. Hold it. There we go. There's the brake lever. Go smooth. All right, you want to give it a test drive? Yeah. Think it looks okay? Aesthetically, it looks great, guys.